Hi guys, it's your worker and welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you guys again. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. My name is More Girl. I do a lot of DIYs and hauls from Goodwill to Z Gallery Inspire. So I'm going to do a quick little embezzle your lamp, okay? So what I did was I went to the Goodwill about last week and I got this beautiful lamp, okay? It's called Sajin, I think it is. It's from Ikea. So last week, Goodwill had half price everything in the store so I got two of the lamps so I'm going to embezzle them I'm going to put in my bedroom and I'm going to blink them out and the color of them are tan and I don't have tan anywhere else and I'm not going to paint it I'm just going to use some embellishments just to bling it out a little bit so just kill some of the tan color and we can do some nice bling on that and many of you if you've seen my bedroom tour last year it's gray and white and I'm doing some more blush colors to it I added curtains I'm actually going to change my middle curtains I did have um ikea curtains but they're more ivory than white so i'm going to do a tour at the end but i want to do a couple little tweaks to my bedroom so again my lamp is tan and i have nothing tan in my bedroom so i'm going to embellish it just a little just to tweak it a little bit so you won't see so much of the tan and actually these lamps they're actually four level i'm going to hang them this way okay so they're going to be actually be wall sconces so i'm going to change for what they are for just small little square boxed i think they're about eight by eight um table lamp to wall sconces and i'm going to use a bling out so i'm going to show you what i got so i'm going to show you the supplies that i got from from amazon and michael's for this project it's really simple really easy just something to embellish your lamps all right guys let's get started it's your more girl Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you are these lamps I got from the Goodwill. These are brand new from the box IKEA lamps. I think they're called Sajin. I'm not quite sure the pronunciation of the name, but they were $4.99, half price for $2.50. The next thing I'm going to show you is this bling sheet I got from Michaels. This is $12.99, and I use a 50% off coupon, so it only cost me with tax $7.03. Now, next to it, you'll see this bling wrap. This bling wrap I got from Amazon.com, and I'll share the link before, and I'll share the link below. And this bling wrap was only about $8 for this whole thick roll. And of course, your scissors, and I have some brushes, and I'm using my E6000. Now, you guys can use the glue, your hot glue gun, but I wanted to use the E6000 because I'm going to use like the small brush just to brush one little pieces of the um sheet onto the lamp then the first thing i'm gonna do is take off the top it just pops right off and i'm going to start with that first i'm going to put this to the side so what i'm going to do first is bling wrap the top of the lamp and i this is the sheet i'm going to use for the top portion of the lamp and again i got this sheet from michael's and i have one that's already open and also this sheet is what i also use for my bling glam clock the same thing so what i'm going to do is measure this um this might be about five inches by five inches i'm just going to measure by sight and i'm going to flip it over So from here, you can see me, I'm just gonna take the scissors. I do not want it to overlap. I want it to be edge to edge. So basically, I'm just taking the scissors just to make sure it is cut from the edge. Now, from this point, all I gotta do is snip it just a little bit. So once I just do it like a little snip, I fold it back over and it has like lines there so you can easily crease it so you don't have to really mark it or pre-measure ahead of time for this and then all you have to do is basically for this sheet is once it's folded you can see where the crease line is and you basically just cut it from there once that side is cut again now it's time to measure the other side again i do not want this to overlap um, i just want it to be very flush just to lay on top of the top of this lamp so again, I'm going to repeat the same thing, is to make sure I get a little crease, just a little snippet. Then I'm going to take it off, fold it, crease it, and then cut along the seam.
Now I'm going to put it on top just to make sure it fits properly on top of the lamp. And I have this little nudge here. All I could do is press it down. It seems that I could just cut off one more strip and that'll make it work a little better. And as you can see here, I can easily just trim it down. Again, let's try it again, and it fits perfectly. Now for this part here, all you have to do is peel it. You know, I'm not gonna use the E6000 or any other glue with this because it has like a strong adhesive back to it. So all you have to do is peel it. It is very tacky, so I probably won't need my E6000, not for this part here. And it's absolutely gorgeous, guys. Look how bling that is. It sort of gives it like, um, almost like from a tan to a champagne look. Now, I prefer to use this wrap on the top of it because the side ones, as you can see, are see-through. And I didn't want the top to be see-through. I wanted to be a solid bling. And I think it just pops a little bit more because I saw what it did for my mirror and I really like that effect. So just all you do is rub it down. Make sure you press gently and make sure everything is adhesed. And basically, guys, that's all it is. And what I'm going to do now is put it back on and let's see how it turns out. Look how gorgeous that is, guys. Absolutely beautiful. And it fits perfect right there. All right, now it's time to do the wrap. The wrap around the actual lamp itself. Now these are already pre-cut. Now I was gonna do a double wrap, but I said no. I think it's a little classic once you do like, maybe like two inches down, maybe like an inch, inch and a half. And then the rest will be about, I think it's about two and a half inches. I didn't want it to be even. And I think it gave it a beautiful bling. And look at how gorgeous that it is. It's tan, chrome, tan, silver. I love that. And even though the double spling will look nice as well, but I'm like, no, I think I'll just live with the chrome, tan, silver, and then tan again. And the next thing I'm gonna do is place the bling wrap where I want on the lamp. Again, I want it to be about an inch to maybe an inch and a half down from the top. And I want it, the, the bling wrap I think is about, I would say four inches. And then the rest of it, I just want it to be, see the tan of the, I'm just gonna use the bling wrap about an inch and a half from the top. And then, and then I'm gonna wrap it around. Now for this one, I am gonna use my E6000 glue. So I'm only gonna glue it from the edge. I'm not gonna adhese the whole thing because I didn't wanna damage any other lamp, especially because it's fabric. So what I wanna do is just take the E6000, take a brush, and that, you know, my E6000 is a little tacky sometimes. My E6000 always gets stuck and sticky and tacky, so I'm taking a brush and I'm just gonna dip it in and just go around the edge of the bling wrap. Now from here, I'm going to start at the edge and I'm just going to basically just lay this across and making sure that it's really pretty much even. I'm just eyeballing it 
like I said, maybe inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half down. And I'm just gonna put it on the edge. And since my E6000 is very tacky, basically I'm just pressing down. It's not gonna take that long for it to adhese. It's very sticky and tacky. And this way I won't have the extra excess glue spilling over through the mesh. Okay, I'm turning the lamp over. And again, I'm gonna go from this seam from corner to corner. I'm not gonna glue anything in between each corner. go all right guys that's it so I'm gonna do the other ones and when I get ready for my bathroom tour my bedroom tour and you can see here it has a notch here this will go like through here and it will hang this way. See guys? So this is gonna hang against the wall. <gasps> See guys? Simple, easy, breezy. You have the sides, you have the front all over. Okay. Easy, easy, breezy. All right, so guys. This here was $12.99 and it was half off, so I paid $7 with tax. And this wrap here, this one here is at Amazon. I will leave the link below so you can get your 
bling wrap roll and it was only like eight dollars guys i thought it was really cute i think it's the all right guys this is your more girl and thanks for watching my channel today and this quick diy how to bling out your lamp all right ah oh i like the glow <laughs> all right guys it's your more girl i'll see you at the next diy all right see ya